Hi, my name's Rob Hargreaves. I'm a technical training manager here at Ideal Eating. And today we're going to run you through the latest changes to the Logic Max range. As you can see, the front case, more aesthetically pleasing with a nice sharp crease down the front and a full front flap, which when pressed, shows you the pressure gauge. We've moved from three control knobs down to two, removing the mode selector, which now is accessible through the menu option. With a four button digital display with a larger full color screen. The new flu seal is an encapsulated style seal rather than being loose fitting seal, which means should the flu turret be removed, the flu seal will no longer become dislodged. That is on the combi and system range. So what we'll do now is we'll take the case off and we'll have a look at the changes inside. Firstly, the wiring. We've got more space for a larger cable with screw down cable clamps. On the left hand side is the mains voltage and on the right hand side we have the low voltage connections for your open therm or weather comp. The gas valve has moved so rather than sitting up in the higher position just below the Venturi it now sits on the base of the boiler. We have three wet pocket thermistors. The flow thermistor has gone from the heat exchanger onto the pipe. We have a return and domestic hot water thermistor and we now have a single spark and rectification electrode. The only considerable change on the boiler pipework is the position of the condensate pipe. We now supply an offset kick, which means we have flexibility when piping the condensate, either getting it back to the wall at clip distance or bringing it forward to exit to the left or the right. We also provide a compression fitting for the PRV pipework. That was a quick overview of the new Logic Max range. Hopefully this will help you with your first installation. Further videos can be found on QR codes in the installation instructions.